Well, fitness enthusiasts, bring your A game and get ready to compete for the cause. Registration is now open for the third annual Bristol Burnout. It is a popular fundraiser for Speedway Children's Charities. And joining us now with more on the event is Betsy Holloman with Speedway Children's Charities. Great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. Man, a lot going on over there at Bristol Motor Speedway. You got yes. some fun events coming up here in the next couple weeks. Thankfully, we are we were ready to get moving and um, raise some money for kids. And this Bristol burnout, this started just a couple years ago, and it's been so popular. Yeah, yeah, we started with the intention of kind of targeting a different group that we've never kind of shared our message with, and what a fun group CrossFitters are. Um, this is our third annual event sponsored by Mycroft Signs, and um, we've just got a lot of fun things happening on August 21st. And the competition is fierce. I mean, these are, they're ready to go. They are, they are. It's big time. Yeah, we changed the format this year from two person teams to four person teams. Um, and our sponsor came in with some big cash prizes for um, the RX Elite Division. Um, so the, that first place team will win $3,000 oh, wow. um, for the competition. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's CrossFit style, kind of functional fitness, um, just everyday fitness. Um, so it's really fun to watch uh, people compete. Yeah, that would be my job, watching. Yes. yes. I understand. <laughs> because they're lifting. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible some of the talent that we have here in our area. And, of course, CrossFit, so popular. Mm -hmm. How do you work the competition? I know there's different groups, right? Yeah, so we've, we've been really blessed by local um, CrossFit gyms in the region. And they've really kind of come together, um, joined as one, and helped us put on this competition. And so um, there's three different divisions. Like I said, there's co-ed uh, four-person teams, and so we've got scaled division, which would um, be me, you know, kind of that beginner crossfitter, um, and then we've got an RX-ish, so you're kind of pushing the envelope a little bit, and then RX is um, your really elite athletes that... Um, they're really competitive. It's it's exciting and it's fun to watch them too. Absolutely. They make everything look so easy. They absolutely do, and it, it's fun movements. Um, there's four different workouts throughout the day, and so um, it is an all-day event, an eight to four kind of time frame. Um, when we host it at our South Building, which is um, it's an amazing warehouse that we really just kind of set up and um, kind of go. CrossFit games ish, if you will. Yeah, I like that. Gladiators prepare. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> and of course, this money is so important for your mission and helping out Speedway Children's Charities, which helps out so many other organizations. Absolutely. I know um, any nonprofit you speak with, um, this is kind of our, our redemption year. And coming off of a, pan a pandemic year was really tough for so many nonprofit organizations. And um, believe it or not, the need is still there. Uh, no matter what our economy goes through. And so um, this is really kind of something that kid that kick starts and um, helps us to raise some funds for, for area nonprofits. Yeah, for people that may not be familiar, of course, Speedway Children's Charities, I know you kind of raise money all year long, and then you have that special night where you give it all away, and those charities over the years have really come to rely on the funding. Absolutely. You know, our, our funding helps to keep some doors open. Um, so we just finished our, our final kind of grant application process, and we've got 97 organizations that are asking for money this year, and um, that's in an 18-county region, so nine in Northeast uh, Tennessee and nine, nine in Southwest Virginia. Um, so there's so much need in this area. Mm -hmm. There's amazing things happening um, with nonprofits all over um, the country, but especially in our area, people are so giving, but the need is still great. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping that this event helps, um, and then, of course, everything that we have coming up in September um, really kind of helps us get back to that number to help fully fund some of these organi organizations. Well, and I love that you come up with all these different things to appeal to different people, and this one's certainly one of those. Yes. And fun to watch, too. Absolutely. All right, well, we'll give everybody the information. Sign-up is underway, so if you would like to take part in the third annual Bristol Burnout, you can, of course, check out the website right there. It is all coming up in August. Now is the time to register. On Saturday, August 21st, the event will be held right there at the South Building at Bristol Motor Speedway.